Good morning. This is Renee, and this will be a collective reading for the collective. I'm just going to lay some oracle cards out here. See what spirit has to say about the situations. Okay, for some of you, I feel like you are starting a new chapter. Um, you are opening to new discoveries. You are starting something new in your life. Uh, something new is coming into your life. The second card out is it is what it is. I think for some of you, you're kind of stagnant. Um, this thing may not be for a large part of the collective, but I feel like some of you are stagnant in the situation. Um, some of you are not quite knowing where you are going. So you're, you just feel like it is what it is. Whatever comes, comes. Um, whatever doesn't manifest, it's coming. Now, for, I'm feeling for a large part of the collective, I'm feeling like you're going, going beyond. You are traveling your course. You're going the distance. You are manifesting big things in your life. And I feel like those things are coming. Um, Let's get some tarot so we can clarify this. Angels, guides, and spirits, give us a message for today. Yeah, you're popping out. First card out, the fool. First card out the fool. So yeah, I was I was feeling like a lot of you were having a lot of new beginnings. Um, this also could be that you're taking more risks. You are going into the unknown. Great energy. And you also have the moon. Definitely secrets could be revealing to you. Um, maybe the secrets of the universe are finally becoming clear. Um, this could also be changes that you're going through. Um, but I feel like with these changes, you should definitely trust your intuition. Uh, you, you should trust where the universe is leading you. You also have the Six of Cups on the end here. This could be someone from your past coming in. This could be an old friend coming to visit. Maybe an ex that you haven't seen in a while is finally coming back into your life or trying to come back into your life. Yeah, I also feel like this is a time for recovery. Yeah, you may need to recover from this person coming into your life. This may be something that is a huge change for you. It's kind of like a tower moment. Um, but I feel like how, whatever the case, it's something that you're going to need to have deep thought. There's something that you're going to need to recover from as far as this interaction. Okay. Yeah. And you have the seven of wands. So yeah, I definitely see that you are, you're defending your position. 
there's something going on that you need to defend your position. Um, it could be with this moon energy, it could be that you are coming towards unseen problems or changes and it leads you to needing to defend that action. But there's definitely something that you're defending. There's something that you are protecting at this moment. Maybe you're protecting against someone else. Maybe um, if this is love, you're protecting what you love from someone else. Or if this is work, you're, you're protecting yourself from the competition. I hope that resonates with, with you, with the full energy, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so this could be a new journey in your finances. This could be something, something that's coming forward to you, uh, maybe a raise, uh, a new job. Maybe you need to take a risk. Maybe you've been in a job for a very long time. Now it's time to take a risk and try something new. Um, I think that that's something new. It could be very prosperous for you. But yeah, there's definitely something new coming in for you. And it could very well be with your finances. With the Six of Cups, we have the Strength card. So yeah, I feel like this, this energy that's coming towards you from the past, I feel like you're going to have to take great strength in order to deal with this situation. I feel like this situation might be strained. Um, maybe it's an ex coming in. And now you have to show your strong side. You have to show that you are respecting your boundaries. You're respecting yourself. You're showing yourself love. Maybe this person came in and they didn't treat you the way that you felt like you needed to be treated. So you have the strength card here to show yourself self-love in the situation. You have a lot of strength to deal with this person. So if this is an ex, I feel like that you're going to come to them more confident. And they're actually going to see you as someone that they made a huge mistake with. I feel like they are going to see you in a totally different light. They are going to be like, oh my gosh, I'm so, I'm so sorry I missed that opportunity because now she's or he's like not feeling me like that. With the Four of Swords, you have the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like after this recovery, after you have gathered your resources, you've gathered your strength, I feel like you are pulling your resources. I feel like... Um, it gave you the energy to keep going. Maybe it's in a job situation and you know, you had to, you had to take a few days off. You had to take some PTO hours in order to gather your strength. And now, now that you're back, you're raring to go. You're ready to make that dollar. I feel like you're pulling all your resources in that situation. Great energy for the collective. I'm loving this reading so far. Okay, let's go ahead and get some, some further clarifiers in this situation because uh, we have a few different situations going on here. I feel like we have big changes. We have new beginnings. We have um, love coming in. We have work and finances. So I, I feel like, man, this is definitely a general reading. This is, 
This should be for all of you collective. There's something for everyone. It's just amazing. Okay, with the moon and the seven of wands, we have the three of wands. So I feel like, you know, there's there's new changes coming in. There may be problems that uh, you're going through that you feel like you have to defend your actions. But I feel like standing your ground, you are expanding. You are moving forward. This could be something that you're going to have to travel for as well. Um, but I, I feel like somehow I feel like you're going to have help in this situation. I think spirit is guiding you in the right direction. I feel like that teamwork is, is spirit giving you that extra push. Go this distance. Go this way. Do this. And follow your intuition. The moon is also about following your intuition, being very intuitive and trusting the, those actions of your intuition. So I, I feel like if you trust your intuition at this time, you are going to expand in the situation. Okay, and with the Fool and the Ace of Pentacles, wow. Definitely new beginnings. You have the Ten of Cups. So, wow, whatever this is, this is going to bring you a lot of happiness and joy. This is also going to bring you um, wealth in this situation. So, I think something's coming towards you that is going to be like a miraculous new beginning. That's very beautiful energy. You have the Fool, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. How beautiful is that? That's just like the universe giving you a huge hug and saying, you know, you've made it. You made it through all your storms you've endured, and now here's your reward. Very beautiful energy. Okay, for the Six of Cups and the Strength card, well, two cards, well, three cards wanted to pop out here. Wow, okay. Okay, uh, first out we have the Ten of Wands. I feel like whatever the situation was, maybe it felt like a burden, maybe it felt like you were carrying a lot of load. Maybe that's the reason why you don't look want to look back at this person who's trying to come back into your life. I feel like you kind of understand that this is something that you don't want to go back through. Um, that's the reason why you also have the strength card. And you also have the world. So yeah, this is the end of a cycle. And you have great new beginnings. So if this person is coming back to give you an offer to renew the situation to um, rebuild a relationship or start a new relationship with this person that's coming back into your life. I feel like you, you, you've you already ended this situation. This, this situation is like beyond your capabilities at the moment. I feel like you have migrated away from that person that they once known and now you have grown and become this beautiful butterfly. That's the reason why they're so attracted to you again, because you've become this beautiful, confident person now that they're attracted to. Maybe you weren't that when they were in a relationship with you, but that may be due to the way that they treated you or the way they made you feel. But I, I feel like this situation you're kind of done with. You don't want to gravitate towards it. And now once you make your decision, you have the Six of Swords. So I, I do see you moving away from the situation. I feel like you're, you're going towards a calmer path. You are moving into something different, I think. You don't want to go back over the same old things. You have transitioned. You have grown. 
And, and this also may lead you to relocate. Maybe you'll be moving, but you're definitely moving in the right direction because you're moving towards calmer waters. This is, this is very nice energy for you. I see you moving and taking no baggage. Okay, now with the Four of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups. Wow, okay. And you also have the Page of Pentacles on the bottom. So yeah, I think that if this is a work situation, I feel like you pull in your resources. This has brought a lot of admiration from maybe your colleagues. I feel like your boss is looking at you like, oh, you saved the day. You came in here and you saved the day. Um, of course, this could be, I, you know, I'm not feeling like this is love. I'm feeling like this is more work related. Um, but I'm feeling like your, your boss or the people above you, the executives are kind of looking at you in a different light. They're looking at you like you're someone who needs a promotion. So yeah, this may be a new offer coming in for more money for you, for your job. Um, yeah, so that's great energy. Let's get a little bit more clarification on this one. Um, cause I, I, I do feel like the work that you've done is being rewarded. Yeah, definitely. The nine of cups, something maybe you've applied for, you thought about doing in the past, um, is now coming into availability for you. This is something that you wish for and it's now within your reach. That is great energy for you, collective. And I do feel like there's someone, there's someone above you who's supporting you. There's someone who's supporting this decision. Maybe someone that you least expect. Um, but one of your bosses, one of your higher ups, they're actually putting in the good word for you in order to bring this into fruition. So I feel like at work, they're talking about you. You are on everybody's tongue at the moment um, because you are standing out. You're standing out in this situation. Okay, before we end this reading, let's get a little bit of, uh, let's get some more Oracle cards to finish out this reading. Spirit, guides, and angels. What do we like to say for this? Okay. Yeah, the first one, birds of a feather. So, yeah, I feel like you are definitely getting support in this, in this situation. Someone's coming to support you. It may be your friends. It may be someone that you um, have a lot of comparisons with, uh, birds of a feather, but they are, they're down with you. I feel like they are coming in to give you their full support in this situation. Okay, and now with the Fool, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. Spirit, an Oracle card for these cards. Yeah, Time Machine. Everything around you is going to be changing. And I feel like this change is going to be for the good. Your fortune is coming full circle. Um, I feel like this is this is going to be a very, very exciting time for you, collective. Um, this is going to be a very exciting time for you. I, I feel like with this reading, the, the cards are so different. This could have been a pick a card reading. But this is a collective reading. So... Uh, take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. But, yeah, the energies on these cards are, are like, totally different. Wow. 
Okay, now for this next set of cards, we have deep breath. Yeah. Okay. Now with the situation, this is with someone coming in from your past and maybe trying to make a, a new start out of the situation. I feel like spirit is letting you know, take a deep breath, kind of meditate through the situation. Don't act on anything very hasty. Don't jump in um, with, you know, all, all streams ahead. No, take a deep breath, step back and really view the situation for what it is. I feel like that, that will give you a lot more clarity in that situation. Okay, and with this last one, we have the land in between. So, with this situation, we have a little bit of recovery. We have pulling your resources. We have someone giving you an offer that you wished for. Well, the land in between, I feel like you are kind of pulled in two different directions. Does that make sense? You're pulling yourself in two different directions about this um, decision that you need to make. Maybe you are going to take the promotion or take the new job and you are kind of feeling bad about where you are leaving your other colleagues or this is something totally different and you're just pulled in two different directions. Maybe it, this new thing takes more time and experience and you feel like you may be lacking in those areas. But I'm, I'm letting you know that this in between, this is just you and indecision. This is not what your abilities or capabilities are. This is just you fighting with yourself. Um, this is your eight of swords moment, if you will. You're fighting with yourself about making a decision. So I feel like you should make your decision, if you will, or if you won't, and just stand your ground. Just stand your ground on the decision. But for the collective, we have a beautiful uncaging. So I feel like this is a... a great time um, to start new things. I feel like a lot of doors will be opening for the collective in general. A lot of doors, a lot of new adventures, a lot of um, soul searching. And as I look in this card, I see that there's an angel on the key lock. So I feel like you are being spiritually protected as well. I feel like Whatever the world throws at you, you're going to adapt and achieve. Does that make sense? But number 14 may be something that's very important for you this week. So, yeah. Um, but that's your reading collective. I hope this resonates with you. If this um, resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And I'll see you on the next reading. Many blessings to you. Love and light, collective.